Hectic. Hectic. That was a sauna. Do stay tuned as we'll be showing you part two and three later on. So you'll come with what the people with show in a sauna not these like us. Well, guys, as promised at the beginning of the show, the talented Tracy Lee Rosland is in the building. They're giving us a few tips on how to rock those bold fashion pieces without feeling a bit shy, you know? You know. Welcome back to Hectic. Oh, oh, hello, darling. It's so <laughs> good to see you looking very fabulous. Thank you, Joe. You've got your oh, out on point. You. So, Bye, Tracy, you. let's get straight into it, yes. right? What would you say are some of the, the lies concerning bold fashion pieces? Um, I think that some of the lies are don't get so twisted in the you can't wear multiple patterns, you uh -huh. can't wear stripes, you can't wear specific colours. It all boils down to where you're going, what you're wanting to, to say by what you're yes. wearing and also your body type. So as long as you stick to what feels good and what looks good, you're bound to be a winner. Lovely. Now, we saw you say are some of the well-known celebrities that actually rocks bold fashion, fashion pieces, pieces really well. Um, well, I must admit, I love the Jenna sisters with regards to their fashion. Uh -huh. I feel like they love doing statement pieces. I mean, we saw Kylie Jenner this week wearing the most cute little onesie, which we're actually going to showcase a bit later on. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, I really think that that's the, the, the epitome is finding something that works within your personal style. Uh -huh. Making the trend your own and not letting the trend wear you, so to speak. That's nice. Now, Tracy, Jay blow out. Oh, you Please know. tell me, what was the whole idea behind it? And also, was you bang on with any public to look made blow out? No, definitely. I was really, really worried about it. And obviously, Obviously, I'm able to wear, have blue hair because of the fact that my day-to-day -day life is styling and hectic 99, which yeah. is so it's acceptable. So it was okay to do it. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but I really felt really kindred to my blue hair. Now I I've had it a year and I don't want to let it go. Because now when people <laughs> are like, I want that Tracy Lee Rosen <laughs> color, man. <laughs> okay, now Tracy, you actually have four outfits yes. for us, four looks. We'll be checking out two, two now, yes. and then later on we'll check out another two. So can we please have our first model? Lovely. So the first look I have, I've got Elsa wearing a dungaree because a lot of people is really scared about dungarees. I don't know why, but okay. there's been a lot of questions regarding how to wear dungaree, what you can pair it with. And dungaree has really been an amazing trend this season. Okay. We're finding leather dungarees, short dungarees, skirt dungarees, the works. Because you were talking about patterns and prints, I brought in a star one because I thought it's nice and cute and mm -hmm. youthful. I paired it with a pair of tackies which goes really well with the greys that we've complemented in the stars. And I've given her a nice little uh, earpiece which is also really big right now. People are doing the kitten yes. ears and all sorts yes. of things. very bold. Exactly. So I've added it just for a touch of spice and for a bit of her own flavour. Lovely. And the outfit is by cheap. Yeah, it's all locally produced. You know how we do. Lovely. Well, thank you so much. Can we please have our next look, please? The next model I've got is Lisa. And with Lisa, I've got her wearing all white with a touch of grey and black in the centre. Uh -huh. And as you can see, most people are very scared of wearing white because they think it's going to make them look bigger. First and foremost, one must always love your body. Okay. And sometimes it's good to add a bit of curve to your body, which is why white can be a really complimentary colour uh -huh. if you're wanting to have a more hourglass figure like wearing a um, white pants with a bit of a midriff allows that cinched in waist like an hourglass uh -huh. and then the white on the top. As you can see with her, we've paired the grey on the inside so it does elongate her quite a bit as it well. Does, it yes. does, yeah. And we've got a killer pair of heels as well. Beautiful! Of and this outfit of course is out of by cheap. Also, and also all from South Africa. In actual fact, the top that she's wearing um, is a favourite of um, a local um, South African fashion blogger, Brett Robson. Wow! So, yeah, no, it's Looking really, really good. Looking very, very, very nice. Very proudly Love South it. African. <laughs> Awesome. Now, Tracy, you'll be giving us or showing yes. us another two, two looks. looks later on. Let's do a hint, a sneak preview of what exactly you've planned for us. I already gave a preview when I said Kylie Jenner. Oh, okay, guys. So if you want to know more, do be, be sure to say exactly what you are. Because later on, we'll try to give more advice how you can look on point like with our bold fashion pieces. Right about now, quick commercial break. When we come back, we chat to our we chat to our actuarial analyst and he'll be talking to our numbers, maths. As Tracy Sickle with Viskana Kiki, play by a while. But Hectic Nana's got your back on that. Ian plus Ian is what now we see after this. Hectic. Hectic. Welcome back to today's Hectic 99. Kiki Kiki's is here with Tracy Lee Roslin giving us the lowdown on some bold fashion pieces that you guys can rock in your office. Come to VC. So Tracy, let's get straight into it. Yes, let's do this. Okay, so can we get our first look? Oh, okay, our third great. look for the day? Yes, our third look for the day, I've got Elsa wearing and her over-the-top statement piece. Has to be this irregularly crazy shoe. Um, Elsa, please give the viewers a taste of this crazy, oh, crazy wow. shoe. And as you can see, it's a Bambi shoe. 
before. Oh my, how so, it's beautiful. Because the shoe is so crazy and over the top and with so many details, as you can see, we've paired it with just a, um, a normal uh, plain and simple uh, faded blue jeans uh -huh. and then I've given her a nice shaggy creature type of black coat like which is very I know, you know very feather but not Be feather okay but yes no but um, it's really really big right now it's another trend that she's rocking so she's actually rocking two trends at the moment but because the top two is so basic it allows us to be a bit more creative with her shoe that's beautiful Nick I guys. Uh, a bikini. okay well can we have our next model Thank you so much. Thank Our you next so much, look. Elsa. And the next model we have, we have Lisa wearing, and like I told you, the jumper. Yeah. Um, so we've got her wearing a onesie, which I know people are very worried about wearing because it can look very pajama party-ish. Okay. But not when you do it smartly. As you can see, we've paired it with a awesome straight peak kit cap. We've paired it with a lovely pair of nice and bite sneakers, uh -huh. as you can see, but a glitter because the actual jumpsuit is pretty plain. And then I gave it a nice long elongated necklace just to make it look a bit taller and then also just for a pop of color. Now, would you say that the dang all is funny material after it's just pajamas that yeah, like off exactly. net? Yes, exactly. So, that. so what type of material should we usually go for when buying a jumpsuit? Okay, my suggestion would be to stay away from tracksuit material. I think that is just so generally going to make it look very pajamas. Okay. Um, so with her, she um, this is more of like a cotton viscose type feel. Um, so it does fit. It's a bit more structured. Okay. And the same with guys because the boys can also be rocking the onesie chains. I actually have Jimmy Neverson, a GQ magazine, rocking an epic. Uh -huh onesie as well and that's also a harder fabric so it looks a bit more structured and fitted um, than when it is that tracksuit fabric and it's a bit more floppy lovely well Tracy bye Danky that you've been oh, so I think if you want to know more about Tracy like if you want to have more fashion tips hop onto Facebook and yes. Twitter take a picture of your outfit with a Dana then you send it to her and then she <laughs> will give you the yay or the nay but if you want to know more hop onto h9.co.za as her fashion blog is posted there right now nine, nine. Nine, nine. Hectic.